so there are um, there there are two really hard problems in life. One is uh, being alive. So right, you have all these natural problems, problems with physics, problems with fluid dynamics, problems with electrical currents that your body has to solve, problems turning photons into electrical signals and then having a brain that turns them into a visual system. These are the things you need to be alive and they're very hard to do. So that's the first problem with being alive. The second problem is reproducing life. So I gotta make another body. That's an extraordinarily hard problem. And most people, because it happens all the time, just think that must be easy. It's just natural. But it is nothing of the kind. It's extraordinarily complicated. And if pretty much anything goes wrong, there's no next generation. So what makes these hard problems hard is that there are so many systems that have to be in place all at the same time to solve these problems. So you need all of the systems in your body in order to be alive. There's, it depends on how you count. Uh, I think we, we call it 11 systems in, in our book. If you take away any of those systems or if any of those 11 systems fails, you're dead. There's, you can't go on. Um, and there's no way to recover from that. So with reproduction, I mean, it's pretty obvious. You have all of the sexual machinery, all of the developmental machinery. You have transitional problems from going from birth to life outside the womb, uh, of which there are quite a number, and they have to happen at exactly the right time or you're dead. So what makes these problems hard is the systems interactions the systems interdependencies, the orchestration of the processes that have to work, everything has to happen in the right order at the right time. And if that gets messed up, you're in deep trouble.